Welcome to this video. My name is Peter. I'm from the Bright Beings Academy and today I want to talk about when. When is the best time for you to focus on spiritual growth? So how do you define spiritual growth? I'll define it how I feel it is because there's all many different ways of actually defining this. Spiritual growth is actually tuning back in to your energetic body. So if you realize that everything comes from energy, now that's mainstream science, everything comes from energy, so so do we. We Our blueprint is actually an energetic blueprint which comes down to a vibration. So if you look at that and the chakra system, you suddenly realize that the lower waveforms are the lower chakra system. So it comes into physics. The middle chakras are a little bit quicker in their waveforms, how many pulses per second the actual frequencies are pumped out. And the higher chakras are higher vibrational waveforms. So we are literally tuned in to a matrix, the, the Schumann resonance, the biosphere of this planet, which is from the Earth to the edge of the biosphere, that's 7.83 hertz. So we are connected with energy all the time. So we, when we're young, we have so much energy. We can, this is why we create more. We have an ego that thrusts us into the life that we want and we keep searching for that. That's natural. What's happening at the moment is we're being conditioned into going into lives that we don't want, which is why there's so much anxiety, depression, or all these different ailments that we have, and these ADHD, blah, 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 blah. So many of these different things that are being labeled, put, or labels are being put onto people just to try to appease them, because say, well, I know you've got this, so you stay there. I don't believe that we have to stay there. I think we can change ourselves and transform ourselves by tapping into our energy and our spiritual growth. So your spiritual growth really is about you tapping into your energy, what you are, what you truly are at essence. And you can, you can actually choose to do this at any time in your life. But the pinnacle, the best time for you to do this, the actual peak for you to do this is actually in your 50s and 60s maybe late 40s, 50s and 60s, when you start to realize that you have negative cycles in your life and you're, getting, you're starting to get fed up and tired with it all going horribly wrong, month after month, year after year, and you think, oh, where are these cycles coming from? So when you're coming into your 50s, you're suddenly realizing, wow, am I coming to the end of my life? You're actually not. You're not coming to the end of your life. You have the ability to live to 120 years of age if you focus your mind on it. But your mind will not be focused on that in your 50s because you're suddenly realizing, <gasps> I'm coming to the end of my life, I haven't done what I wanted to achieve. Your spiritual growth is aligned to what you actually want to achieve. I would say personally, from all the people that I've coached and all the people who come into my Qigong school, most people want to achieve being loved and helping other people. Really simple, really simple goals that they have. Not these big aspirations of, I want a multi-million pound business, I want this, I want that, I want all these big cars and big houses. That's kind of a bit lower down on the list. list. What people want is to be loved and to help other people. It's really simple. And so your spiritual growth, when you start to tap into that and you realize actually from a heart energy perspective, you have abundant energy to keep going out and helping more and more people without this tug on your heartstring, which makes your heart go in and out like a concertina that exhausts you and you become emotionally exhausted all the time, which most people in their 40s, 50s and 60s are suffering from that emotional drain, emotional exhaustion, wanting to move away from all of this horrible life that they're living. That is understandable because they're not tapping in to the spiritual growth. So in, in this time period, you can do this. And right now, the earth is going through these enormous changes. And so are you because you're connected to the earth. That's human resonance. 7.83 hertz from the earth to the biosphere. There's a Because of the sun hitting the edge of the biosphere, it's creating this resonance which we're 
born into, we come out of that resonance. So we're actually intrinsically connected to it. So when you start to connect with yourself more, you start to connect to that field more, and that's when your spirituality actually really grows. Your, your pineal gland will actually work in a, in a more coherent manner. You'll become more clear. Clarity will start to affect you more. You go, wow, I never saw it like this before. Now I'm seeing it really clearly. And how many of my clients say that to me? Virtually every single one. It's quite incredible to say, when you do the internal work for your spiritual growth, you will start to move forward in your life spiritually, not materially. It's a difference, more right brain. You become more creative with your conversation, more creative with what you do with your life, rather than the physical working out this, that, and the other with the left brain. You become more right brain, more heart-centered as a human being. So I would say late 40s, 50s, 60s, if you're looking for spiritual growth, that's the best time. You can start earlier and the, the young kids coming through now today in their 20s are more wise, more insightful, more getting involved with the everyday human activities that we thought in my generation, oh, that's boring. Well, I don't want to do that. That doesn't involve drinking. That doesn't involve partying. But it does involve actually being loved and to love, which is what our heart is all about. So I do do this in the Dream Method with the Bright Beings Academy. I also run a Qigong school, which helps you connect more with your spirituality. With that, we call it Chan, Heaven Energy, Upper Dan John, your sixth chakra, G, Earth Energy, your second chakra, and In, your fourth chakra, your heart chakra, humanity so the the chan energy comes down which is more of like a male energy they call it shiva in the vedic principles shakti coming up more female energy comes up the back actually water up fire down you've got this cycling energy around your body and it meets in the middle which is your heart chakra so water up fire down and your middle danjon is your heart chakra so you become more like a triangle uh, sorry a pyramid with a strong base and a light top. Otherwise, you're going to be walking around with a heavy top, light base, because you've got so much information in your head that you can't clear it, you can't get rid of it. It's difficult because these cycles are going around, and you want to you want to start to shift all of that energy, bring it down into your lower dungeon, so that your lower dungeon can give you the power, the passion, the creativity to come up through this the solar plexus chakra. You won't be reaching out for control, for recognition and for security anymore from your solar plexus chakra. All of that will be starting to disappear as you come through that solar plexus with power to actually make you realize your sense of self actually is deeper than your physical body. Come into your heart chakra, then you'll start to live the life that you actually will find very joyful because you can go into these interactions with everybody else and say, Wow, I really enjoyed that, actually. I, I'm starting to feel again. I don't feel numb anymore, which is what many of my clients say. I don't feel numb anymore. I can feel. I can, I can sense things again. And this is beautiful. This is your spiritual growth. You come back into that beautiful place of being a beautiful, sensitive human being. Okay, if you want to find out more about that, you can go to Bright Bees Academy. It's got the dream method there. We've got some Qigong school, and we've got all, all of that. So check that out. See if anything resonates with you. If you do, please do get in contact because I'm here to help. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. Till the next video, be well, keep shining.